everybody. Th thanks for watching Sweet Peach Creations. Today we'll be making um, keychains. Um, this is a simple little project. You will need webbing, ribbon, um, which you can embroider on. You don't have to. You can actually get printed ribbon um, like the zebra and um, you can make a keychain simply like that. Um, you also need tacky glue. You will also need these little um, keychain grips. You can find them in various um, websites and everything. Um, and you will also need the little ring to hook your keys to. Um, I cut my ribbon. It depends on what it looks like. This one, the ribbing and webbing, is nine and a half. I, they actually measure up to be exactly the same. And um, let me just show you um, what I do. I also grab a wet paper towel that helps get the glue, the excess glue, off of my fingers. Um, to start, just take the glue and put it on. And be then, precise about it. You can kind of just glue it on there. All this is going to do is help um, keep the webbing and everything in place. Okay. Then I take it, center it up, see where it's kind of good. Okay, and make sure you have the glue off of your hands. Okay, push it down. Take a book. I use just like a jewelry maker book, put in there, make sure it's flat, let it dry for a few hours, and then we'll take it to the sewing machine. After it dries, you want to put it together and sew it together. So, sew both sides. I've actually already sewed one side. Like this. Put them together, edge, edge to edge, and then you're going to sew this together. Like, get it to that. You want to reverse stitch it a couple times. Put it together. We're almost done. Look, both sides together, sewn together, everything's sewn together. We'll finish it up in just a Okay, well let's finish up our project. You kind of want to get all the loose edges and all that ugly stuff off. Kind of make it nice and pretty looking. I have one little piece that doesn't want to come off. Okay. Now you take your little gripper here. I put the two little, you can see that there's little triangles on the back and they also have like a little little piece on if you can see it right there. But that's what's going to grip into the webbing and everything. But first, because it is so big, I take my... Okay, first what I do is I take my little vice grips. Oh, let's make them a little bit bigger. Okay. A little vice grips here, and I kind of smush it a little bit. My vice grips, I moved them and everything. Okay, I'll smush it a little bit, close it up a little bit, and it'll make it a lot easier putting it in there if it's smaller than bigger. Okay, and now what I also do is I take a piece of uh, uh, cloth and I put it over it so you can see it's in there. Then I take my little vice grips. Ah, it's not going to stay. And you smush it down as hard as you can. Get the other side now. Okay. Now you're going to do it again. Make sure it's nice and tight. 
Okay. And voila, it's not coming apart. I'm pulling it as tight as I can. Last but not least, you want to put your little ring around. That's what they look like. See you all.